Okay, well, look. Hey, bring me on then. And welcome to the final game for the Mountain View Squires of the 2021 season. We're, we're talking to you from Marcus Whitman Middle School in Port Orchard. Sorry, I just finished eating some chips, so my mouth's a little bit all gummed up, but it's a crucial mashup. Um, let me find the standings right here. Currently, Curtis is in first place with a 9-0 record. Mountain View is 3-2 in second place. The only two losses was to Curtis. Marcus Whitman is 5-3. So this is a crucial game. Um, this will determine second place here in this league's um, game. The Squires are averaging 66.4 points a game, where Marcus Whitman is only averaging 43.0. Um, Marcus, um, the Squires are giving up 31 or 32 points a game where Marcus Whitman is giving up 42. So based upon the statistics, the final score should be in favor of the Squires, but this is basketball and anything can happen tonight. I'd like to, I'd like to thank our black and white guy, Dave. If I knew Dave's last name, I would tell you what it was. Um, who's doing all the camera work and all of the production over here on. So, oh, he said his last name's Hench. I'm not sure if I believe him or not, but um, we'll, we'll go with that for today. Dave Hench is the, um, so like I said, you can never, you never quite know what the black and white guy's going to come up with. So we don't call him the color guy because he really, he has no, he, he's not a basketball fan. <laughs> He's just here for, he's just, he just likes doing all the video production. So, Jalen Davis will jump the ball from center. We got Kyle Brown. Enoch Taylor's back at the def defense. And the possession will go, possession will go to Marcus Whitman. Oh, excuse me, to Squires. Marcus Whitman got the opening tip. And the first shot and the first basket. Nice inside pass to Anthony Medina, misses it. And Kyle Brown gets the three. Steal by Kyle, and now um, Mountain View is up five to two. Kyle with another steal. With a floater, he gets hacked. Referees miss it. Let's see, I forgot to put my starting lineup in my stat board here. So I'm doing a little bit of catch up. Enoch Taylor, Enoch wears number zero, and McWhorter. So, Kyle in for another steal. The jump ball possession was in favor of Mountain View, so Mountain View will get the ball. So now, now Marcus Whitman has possession. I'm talking about possession arrow, not, not possession of the ball. And a three pointer hits the front of the rim for Kyle Brown. Trailblazers obviously very disciplined offensively, but they're finding out that Mountain View is really, really quick. Long arms, and they're getting a hand in there and deflecting the ball. Forcing this last possession went to Trailblazers. The Squires up. It's a tight man to man. Nice help. Help side D by Jalen Davis. 
And we got a jump ball. Marcus Woman will take it out of bounds, and possession will go to the possession indicator will go to the Squires. Tight man to man. Tom Brown misses it. Marcus Woodman gets a, a shot off and an air ball. Possession will go to the Squires. No, no, no. I'm just talking to him. Kaden Davis calling out a play. The Squires really, really high run their offense. Side to side. Try to basically break down that zone defense. Stretch it out to come out to them. Medina fakes for a shot. Brown's going in. I anticipate that's going up. And that was an air ball. So Brown started out. It's always fun to watch the Squires run their baseline out of bounds play. They always got something really sneaky for an easy basket to see if they get another easy basket out their baseline out of bounds. Nope, into the corner for Brooke Davis. Davis up top to Taylor. Referee calls time. Oh, looks like we got a shot clock violation. Referee talking to the, to the scoreboard operator. Coach Thompson's called the Squires over for a little instruction. That was the referee timeout. If there's no button on there's no button on your production board for that. <laughs> yeah, I know you were. <laughs> okay, Mountain View is going into a four corners baseline out of bounds play. Jalen Davis on the far side. Here comes a three. Looked for the middle short, and it was. Jack Kesma Ward, your defensive rebound. Up to Jalen Davis from Kyle Brown at an easy two point. Got a untied shoot by Trailblazer, so gives everybody a chance to reset. As you can see, Squires up in a 2 2 1, just a patented Bremerton press. Don't have the untied shoe button huh? Don't have the untied shoe button no, we don't have the untied shoe button. See, I, t I told you, I don't know why I bring the black and white guy along sometimes. Enoch Taylor knocks it away. Jalen Rose. Oops. How do I get Jalen Rose? Kyle Brown with the assist and the steal. Ian Taylor will get the steal assist. Typically a 2-2-1 press is designed to slow the other team down, but Bremer, uh, Mountain View is so aggressive on that, they're generating steals. Yep, and Jalen Rose, Jalen Davis picks up an easy, an easy steal. Kyle Brown goes up for a little jump hook and gets fouled. So he'll go to the line for First time for the charity stripe for tonight's game. It'll be the Squires' first time at the free throw line. Huh? Well, yeah, that's they are not playing Curtis. <laughs> oh, and that makes but you make it you make a good point, Dave. That um, how you come on the floor and how you play it dramatically affects how the game goes and. Um, and that's why they're up nine to two, but it doesn't help Kyle at the free throw line. But Davis gets a Davis gets an offensive rebound, and the new official on the baseline um, he saw something, but but only got a half a blowout of his whistle. I was an official once, so I know what those situations were. Davis, in front of the iron. So, Mountain View is 0 for 3 right now at the free throw line. Make that 1 for 3.
Nice job by Enoch. Beautiful run, running the ball down. Enoch showing showing his talent yet. There it isn't all developed yet, but um, I remember his little brother Kanye Taylor playing here. And um, at seventh, Enoch's better than Kanye was at seventh grade. So expect some great things out of Kanye. Or so Enoch, as we as he matures through the years, gets to the high school. Squires back in a one one three one defense. That leaves the bottom corner open for Enoch. Enoch just keeps passing it. And here goes McGuarton. Oh, and a nice two pointer. That is Jacquez's first points of the game. <laughs> You do got a button for that. <laughs> yep, it's, it's, it's time out Mountain View, and, and we'll be back after this commercial break. Mountain View is the away team. and start your path to health and healing. Got a break with the pass. Mountain View now back in a tight man to man. And there comes a deflection by. Yep. Jock has McWhorton gets a steal and picks up a foul. So that'll be the Trailblazers' third foul for the quarter. Yeah, when you get to face the press, unless you got a superb point guard. Best way to break it is patience and passing. So the Trailblazers do not have the athleticism to, to, to go man to man against the Squires. Medina from the corner, air ball. Enoch Taylor thought he had a rebound, but it deflected out of his hands out of bounds. The ball, the ball will go to the Trailblazers. Yep. Brown, Brown came from the back side. Thought he knocked the ball away, but the official on the trail and very good official called a foul. Oh, Jalen Davis just takes it away easily. Goes in for left handed layup. Picks up his eighth point of the game. Too much pressure. Trailblazers pass the ball out of bounds. Squires will get it on the far side. Substitution. Here comes Aaron Matthews. For Mountain View. And McWhorter goes out. Aaron Matthews comes right in the game. Throws up an air ball. McWhorter a little confused right now who he's guarding. Jalos picks up the rebound. Here come the Squires. In the corner to Kyle Brown. Here comes the three off the front of the iron. Kyle Brown, easy, playing, playing free safety, picks up the 
Interception. Goes up for a reverse layup. Misses, but Jalen Jalen Davis picks that up for his ninth point of the quarter. Jalen Davis, rebound to Brown. Brown right hand layup, got a basket. That's Brown's seventh point of the game of the game or the quarter. Shouldn't say the game. We still got three more quarters to go. And a pick up by Andrews and Matthew Aaron. Here comes Davis looking up. Enix wide open. Far ahead. Enix gonna kick it back out to Matthews. Matthew to, to Davis. Davis to Medina. Easy reverse side shot for Brown. Um, it's definitely a new official. You don't do substitutions um, on them after a made basket. Somebody came in, 23 seconds. Here we go. That's Cooper. Cooper. Aaron picks up a. That's going to be still good defensive pressure. Five second call for the. Against the Trailblazers. Too many things going on right now. Number 15, Trailblazers top players tries to jump that pass and was unsuccessful. Nice pass to Cooper. Cooper off the glass, misses it. And misses it. Sometimes there's too much pressure. So at the end of the first quarter, Mountain View 22, Marcus Whitman 2. Join us as we ring in the new year at the Roxy Theater on Quincy Square, featuring special musical guest, Heart by Heart. Kick it out. Party with Kitsap's favorite master of ceremonies, DJ Joe Frank, as he spins yesterday's favorites and today's hottest hits. Also playing The Bootlegs. Don't miss this New Year's celebration. Your tickets now. And welcome back to the Marcus Whitman Middle, Middle School Gymnasium here in Port Orchard for the final game of the season between the visiting Mountain View Squires and the Marcus Whitman Trailblazers. Start the second quarter, we got Aaron Matthews, Jacques McWhorter, McWhorter, Medina, and Kyle Brown in the game. One, two, three. And Cooper, Cooper Stevenson. Yeah, nice job. Good job. Cooper with a nice defensive rebound. Here come the Squires. McWhorter gonna take it all the way in. Nice little 
baby junk floater. Almost went. So Coach Thompson showing a little mercy to Marcus Whitman as he's taken out Jalen Davis and Enoch Taylor sitting on the bench. And nice, nice rebound by Medina. Here comes Kyle. Kyle to water. He misses. Kyle gets a defensive offensive rebound, misses. So unusual non-scoring play for the Squires. McWhorter picks that ball off, goes down, and adds two more to his total, which is now at four. So we get a foul on Cooper Stevenson for holding, holding in the post. Carol Blazer get the ball right out of bounds here in front of the score table. Defensive pressure for the Squires isn't as good as it was. I'm not sure why Matthews is standing off the guy. Easily picked him. Throws the ball up the court. Jacquez runs it down and scores. Nice play by Aaron Matthews. Defensive play. Cooper Stevens, a nice deep defensive rebound. Here come the Squires. Kyle Brown's got his head up, looking for his teammates. Aaron Matthews gets his shot blocked. And big number 15 for the Trailblazers gets, will get an and one. Foul went on number four, so that is McWhorter's first foul of the game. Only the second foul, they got that wrong. It should be, I have three on my, there it is. Update the scoreboard. Three fouls for Squires. Cooper. That's not going to go on Cooper. That's going to go on. Um, Who they call that on? They didn't call it on Anthony. Hey, coach. Coach, they called it on Anthony. Anthony? Who they call that foul on? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Cooper? Thank you. So Jalen Davis back in, coming in for Kyle Brown, and someone else came in. Oh, number five. Um, Got to look that up. Oh, that's Coldell Webb. The quarter to Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis, nice off the glass. Eleven points for Davis. Unforced turnover by the Trailblazers. That's what happens when you got some good defensive speed for the opposing team. Cooper wide open on the baseline and gets an easy bucket. So Aaron Matthews will pick up his first foul of the game. That'll be a sixth foul for Mountain View. That'll put the bonus light will go on over the home team's Trailblazers. Means the next foul that Mountain View makes 
Bill Blazer will go to the line for a one on one. Right now, the Trailblazers are utterly confused of what to do with the speed. And Davis unsuccessful in converting the old three-point play. But Aaron Matthews right there waiting for it. And Cooper picks it off. Cooper to Davis. Davis to Matthews, easy basket. You got to report the foul to the table. I guess we have no foul because he didn't report the table. As we can see right now, is this the game is just too fast for this new official. Steal by Cooper. Cooper up to Davis. And two more points. Aaron, Aaron Matthews get his hands out on that. Causes the trailblazer point guard to bounce it off his knees. And then... And a foul by Marcus Whitman. Here comes Kyle Brown back in the game. Cooper, who's played defensively very, very well in that minute. So here comes Enoch Taylor. And Jacquez McWhorton will get a little break here in the second quarter. Well, we've well, had a wide open two and a half shot. Just not within his range. Mountain View got some excellent passing going on right now. Davis going to the hoop. Oop, little strong. So, um, Who, had the, who do you have there for the possession arrow? Yeah, blue ball. So, so change the possession now to white. So Jalen David reaches in there and, and gets ties him up. And because Mountain View had the possession, they get the ball. Davis to Brown. Brown with a three-point. Hit the front of the iron. Good shot. It was on range. Just not strong enough. Looks like Jalen Davis gets a steal. And another two points. <laughs> Number 21 for the Trailblazers feeling good after that swisher. Or the three pointer. Okay, I'll give him two. Davis driving a little scoop shot. Kyle Brown to Jalen Davis. I will take a when I get a timeout here, I'll have to add up the points. I think Dan and Davis goes to 20 points in the first half. Kyle Brown, excellent job dribbling down the court, full speed, head up. Don't normally see that. Uh, at the middle school level, Brown is a eighth grader. Will be playing at Bremerton High next year. One of the few non-returners from this team. Oh, Enoch, that was an easy one. Gets it back. Davis the corner. Brown hits the three.
you could easily assume that Coach Thompson is running the score up, but that's not the case. He's using his entire bench. He's got two starters sitting on the bench, and they're not full court pressing anymore. Mountain View just totally has trailblazers of Fugle. Here come the Trailblazers. Kyle Brown in the lead. Pulls up. Oh, and then Kyle turns it over. <laughs> so at the end of 16 minutes, two quarters, Mountain View 45. Marcus Schumann Trailblazers 9. We'll be back after halftime with a new stream. So to catch the second half, refresh your browser here in about eight minutes. And we'll be live. <laughs> 